Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I going to talk about how to set up React in Laravel 10. Because as you know, previously we set up React in Laravel 8 and 7 when we was use Laravel Mix. But in Laravel 10, we have a white and now need to integrate React.js through the white. So integrating React.js latest version into the laravel 10 is really tough task and i am showing here one by one step and that will help you to boost up your react application in laravel so i wrote down few steps in readme first of all you need to create one laravel project i was create one laravel project with latest version let me show you into the composer and you can see here 10.20.0 installed in this application and now we need to add these all packages inside the packet.json and then fire npm install also we need to add this dependency react refreshed as well so let's copy this and add into the packet.json and you can see three packages there axios laravel white plugin white and then we need to add this packages and also let me copy this and put after dev dependency react refresh 0.14.0 now we need to fire npm install and so let's fire command npm install so all packages are installed successfully next thing is we need to install one composer package laravel ui which is given by laravel officially laravel ui so let's fire and install in application it's installed successfully and then let's go into the readme and check next step and we need to generate some files so we need to fire this command php artisan ui react so this ui react generate a resource let me show you inside the resource directory let's open and see example.jsx app.js bootstrap.js app.scss all the files are generated and see here react is rendered here is app.js and bootstrap include here also c component slash example means this component also included here and this is bootstrap.js it's modified by that command and bootstrap imported so also Im import axios and required stuff and here app dot scss and bootstrap import here now let's see next thing is we need to configure welcome dot blade dot php and but before i go in that file i going to show you white dot config now white dot config also updated and this react method added and import from the plugin react and also add in laravel app.scss and app.js we are using scss because we need to import bootstrap and for adding support scss as you know i add scss sas package so for using scss you need to 
add this package and install this package this is npm package and this is example component this one is default and now i going to configure this my welcome dot blade so i going to remove this default code and just putting div and specifying id example and you have a question why i specified id as example because into the this section you can see document dot get element by id so this get element by id find one element by example and render here so we need to specify one div and specify id if we specify another name instead of example we need to same where we want to render the react application now one more thing we need to render app.js because this component bootstrap everything import inside this app.js and app.scs so we need to add this js and scss into the this welcome dot blade now i going to render using white directive and we can specify both file in array so just specify both here resource sas app dot scss resource js app dot js both are place inside the resource directory js and s a double s means sas now let's save and need to fire npm install npm install successfully now let's build npm run dev and also we need to start server php partition so into the second terminal so i going to use php strom terminal here php partition so and let's refresh and see it's white nothing render here so let's open console and check what's going wrong and you can see error can't detect premiable something is wrong so we need to add fast refresh directive because we are using fast refresh package let me show you here independency so we need to add one directive so i going to show you with two way we can resolve this error so let me show you first way and open white config and here you can see we are using react but instead of react use refresh and here instead of plugin use directly refresh package and add this react refresh instead of the react now let's save and refresh and you can see component render successfully this component came from js component example dot jsx let me change this title this is demo of react with laravel 10 and let's see this is demo of react with laravel 10 you can see here and now i going to show you 
second way let's see how you can do it just we need to add one directive in this file before white so let's specify white refresh and that's it and just refresh and you can see it's working so you can resolve it with two way but this one is recommended and it's given into the laravel documentation so let me show you docs white and see here white react refresh need to add you will need to include additional blade directive alongside your existing white directive and it must be needed this directive must be called before white directive so it's recommended in this documentation so you should use this method because it's recommended but you can use both and resolve your this error so this is now easy you can easily integrate react.js with this guide and this tutorial so thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel